you are looking at the exact location of S4. In this video, I will show you how I determined that 10 hangar doors were built into the base of this mountain right here. The outline of many of the hangars are plain to see with the naked eye, like this area on the right. Look at this ridge through here and these vertical lines. Bob Lazar had this picture made, this illustration of S4. I wanted to show how it blended in with the side of the mountain. Look for straight, parallel, vertical lines across the front. Straight, parallel, vertical lines. If we go over here, look, straight, parallel, vertical lines. Listen to Bob Lazar describe the exact location of S4. From Area 51, I was bused to an even more highly secure facility located about 15 miles south of Area 51 called S4. S4 is situated at the base of the Papoose Mountains by the Papoose Dry Lake Bed. Lazar said S4 was 15 miles south of Area 51. Here's Area 51, north to the top, south to the bottom. Here's a legend in miles, almost seven miles from here to here. So 15 miles south of Area 51, if you drove around this mountain, would put S4 somewhere around here, according to Lazar. He said it was nine hangars were built into the base of the Papoose Mountains, which is right here, by the dry lake bed, Papoose Dry Lake Bed, which is right here. So that should put S4 right around here, according to Lazar. Now I searched this mountain, and those hangars are right through here. But the secret to seeing those hangars is to view it from this direction over here. Get low to the ground and view it from this direction. But first, let's listen to Bob Lazar describe what we should be looking for. The S4 installation is built into the mountain and the nine hangar doors are angled at about 60 degrees. These doors are covered with a sand textured coating to blend in with the side of the mountain and the desert floor. So this is what we're looking for. A row of straight, parallel, vertical lines across the base of the mountain. Okay, now that we know what to look for, let's see if we can find these hangers. The hangers are right through here, but let's go to this area in here to view it. You want to get fairly low to the ground, look toward the northeast, mountain should come into view here. There it is, straight ahead. So what we're looking for are straight, parallel, vertical lines. This is the mountain we're talking about. I'll let you look first, see if you can find them. Right through this area, straight, parallel, vertical lines. Straight, parallel, vertical lines. Actually, you start to see some lines through here as well. Straight here. Let's take a look from some different angles. Straight, parallel, vertical lines. Straight, parallel, vertical lines. These hangers on the right are the easiest to see. In fact, if it wasn't for those hangers being so plain to see, I would have never found this location. Because these hangers stretch around to the side like this. And you start to see some other straight lines over here, but we'll get into that later. For now, I'd like for you to just concentrate on this area on the far right, these hangers on the far right. Every documentary I saw on Bob Lazar always had the hangers in a straight line. So when I found these, I thought they would probably go across like this, but I really searched this area and there, there's just no landmarks, anything that can justify any hangers on this side. When I looked over here, we have these straight lines. You start to see some other lines through here. 
looks a little bit better. Right through there. See these straight lines? As I was trying to figure out the outline of the hangers, there was this line right through here that always seemed to interfere with the lines of the, of the hangers. These all go in a certain direction, all parallel. But this one runs at a different angle, and it's so prominent. And I, I really had a hard time with this ridge right there. Then I realized if you follow this ridge all the way through here, it's actually the crease of the mountain going through here. Just take a look underneath the line, and you'll see that there's a crease that runs right through there. So when you see this line through here that's not at the correct angle, it's not part of the hangers. So try to ignore that. Of course, there is the other side here. These on the right are easier to see, but we're gonna, I'm going to show you that there are landmarks or things that we can see on all these lines. So what I'd like to do now is justify all these different lines, all these different hangar doors. Listen to Bob Lazar describe how well the hangers blend into the side of the mountain. It's extremely well camouflaged. Years later, Lazar will have a graphic artist create detailed renderings based on his own drawings of what he claims he saw at S4. There are hangar doors that are sand textured, and standing back maybe three or four hundred feet, you really can't see them at all. It pretty much just looks like a continuation of the mountain. So don't expect it to be easy to see the hangars. They were designed to be hidden. You're going to have to look real close. Let's start with the three hangers on the right side. These hangers are easier to see, usually the higher in elevation you go. I'm talking about these straight lines right there, right there, right there, right there. See, the higher you go, these, this one on the right gets even more pronounced right through there. It's more distinctive the higher up you go. So I'm going to justify these four lines on the right side. And here's that that line that goes sideways through the mountain, the crease right through there. But I believe we can say for sure that here are four straight lines. So I'm going to justify that. The next group of lines that I want to justify are these four right here with the tags. This one on the left side is probably the best of them all, so we can justify that. You see a pretty good line right there, as well as here. You'll notice there's a little bit of a white bump about halfway down most of these hangers, like right there and there. But you want to try to take a look at them from different angles. But again, I see a line here, and I realize it is supposed to be difficult to see. It's supposed to be hidden, so don't expect it to be obvious. But if you look at this enough from different angles, you will see that there is definitely a line growing through all these. So I am going to go ahead and justify those. And this dark line right through here, as you recall, is that crease going through the mountain. So let's take a look at what we have so far. We have a row of straight, parallel, vertical lines. It's good to just try to check it out from all different angles. But I believe I can justify each one of those. I looked at other parts of this mountain through here on the back side. Nowhere else can you find straight lines, let alone vertical, straight, parallel lines like we see over here. When it gets down to the remaining lines and hangers, 
I can't say that I for sure see a line through here. I've looked at it many angles. I want to say that I can, but I can't really say that. I'm going to go ahead and put tax on it, but not put the orange line. And then over here, we get down to, Lazar said there were nine hangers. I think there's ten. For there to be nine, because these are really good lines right here and right here. For it to be nine hangers, we'd have to have one in the middle, and these hangers would just be too large compared to the other ones. I think the best bet is that there's two more hangers there. I'm not positive that I see lines there, so I'm not going to go ahead and put any. But here's the shape you get. And just take a look at this. When you look from above, just look how perfectly look how perfectly these hangers follow the contour of the mountain. And I can justify all those lines you see right there. And again, look how perfectly it follows the contour of the mountain. In November of 2014, I posted two videos on YouTube titled Lazar Was Right, Part 1 and Part 2. In those videos, I used this thumbtack placement for the outline of the hangar doors. Since then, I have reevaluated. I now think the correct placement for the Thumbtacks is right here. This was my old placement. And this is the new placement. In my video, Lazar was right, part one, I used this image of S4. Google Earth offers a feature called elevation exaggeration, where you can lengthen by a factor of three the elevation of the mountain. It also lengthens these lines. I believe it makes them easier to see. I'm also using a filter called negative just to reverse the values and again in an attempt to try to see these lines better. It's all about seeing the lines. I'm sure there's professional software and people that can take a look at these images and enhance these lines better than I can. But just take a look. Look at these lines right here. How straight right through here right there, a couple dark areas right in line with that. There's that crease in the mountain going through there. Darkness, there's a dark line, dark line, dark line. I remember right after I posted this video I noticed I put this thumbtack in the wrong place. It should be right about there because you can see where the line goes. But take a look at Lazar was right part one and part two. I do several things similar to this to try to enhance the lines and make them easier to see. Go to my Spaceman channel on YouTube and check out my other S4 videos. Take a look at these straight lines. Thanks for watching.